Spoken, and it woke up a lot of people. What he did woke up a lot of people. Whether we want to believe that or not, a lot of people, like like you said, well, man, we were just talking about that the same way y'all were talking about it, the rest of the world talking about it. Can I, I'm going to say one thing, what you said about Kyrie, right? Because you said he should have stayed 10 toes down. I'm going to show you something that that a lot of times we don't understand the, the situation that a lot of our brothers are in. Because we read about those things even in the Bible too. Give me John 3 and, 3 and 1. I'm going to show you that we had brothers that was in power or had high positions. They couldn't come to Christ in the daytime because they had because they had positions, certain positions that they had, and they wouldn't have had those spots if people would have known, so they supported the truth in the background. So we're going to read that a person actually did that. Read verse 1, John 3 and 1. John chapter 3, verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. Now Nicodemus was a Pharisee. That's a high position in, in the nation of, in, in Israel. He's, he's one of the rulers of Israel, one of our leaders back then. Read on. A ruler of the Jews. He was a ruler of the Jews. Watch this, read. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him. Oh, the same did what? Came to Jesus by night. Why do you think he came to Christ by night? <laughs> exactly. So our brothers, he's in a high position, but that doesn't mean, now, now like we say, he's not in any way affiliated with IUIC that we know of. But what if he's in the position he's in, making the kind of money he's making and he's supporting the truth and we don't know? You see what I'm saying? Because he's in a high position. So just like a lot of our brothers and sisters, they get in those positions and they can't support the truth. They can't be on the front line like what we're doing. They can't be out here doing what we're doing or they lose everything they got. So what they do, they go and they support the ones that can be on the front line. So read on. And said unto him. So this man, he said unto Christ what? Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. So they understood who, he understood who Christ was. He knew that he was sent from God. But a lot of people even back then didn't believe it. But he was a Pharisee and the Pharisees were going against Christ, but not him though. So all of them didn't go against Christ. We're reading about a, a, a Pharisee that actually knew who Christ was and believed on him even while he walked the earth. Finish the scripture out. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. So you hear what I'm saying? Now watch this. Now this is what we should do. This is what the rich or the ones that got the high positions. Oh, so where's the scripture where it talks about to charge them that are rich? First watch Timothy. this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. First Somebody Timothy 6. Quick, huh? First Timothy 6. First Timothy 6. That's right. First Timothy 6. Now watch. This is what this is what a lot of our brothers and sisters do that's in these high positions before you leave. I want to get that. 6 and uh, let me see. Do y'all ever come over? I just I just want to go over this before you left because I heard what you said and I thought that and a lot of times we we crucify our brothers and sisters or we talk down or bad about them because they they didn't like you said he didn't stay ten toes down you had to apologize and do X Y Z well he didn't do all those things they told him to do he didn't do them verse seventeen huh right you see what I'm saying he didn't sit down with nobody and they retalk carry nothing. Matter of fact, you saw videos where now he was with his Native American people. 
Matter of fact, that means he was from a tribe of Gad, just like him. <laughs> Read that. Watch this. This is what the rich of our people should do. Read. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 17. Bring it out. Charge them that are rich in this world. Charge them that are rich. We don't. That they be not high minded, uh -huh. nor trust in uncertain riches. Because they rich with money, but they're not supposed to trust in that money because it could be taken away. So what should they do? Read on. But in the living God. Who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Free. That they do good. They should do good. How? That they be rich in good works. And they should be rich in good works. Watch. Read. Ready to distribute. Ready to do what with the money that they make because they're leaders and in these high positions. Ready to do what? Distribute. Support the truth. Help those that are being on the front line. So we can't just come out and just automatically beat up our brothers and sisters and say, he should have stayed 10 toes down. But well, what we don't know is what if he's supporting one of these Israelites groups that's going out and teaching the people? No. So what if, he, what, if, what if he got, you know what? At first, he was very outspoken and it woke up a lot of people. What he did woke up a lot of people. Whether we want to believe that or not, a lot of people, like, like you said, well, man, we was just talking about that the same way y'all were talking about it. The rest of the world talking about it. Right, right. The rest of the world talk about it. So now it's wait a minute. If Kyrie is saying he's a Jew, me and him look the same. We come from the same people. Then who the world am I? Where did he get that understanding from? All over the internet, you see it. Just like you saw all our, all our brothers down there in New York marching for him. We're marching for the cause because even yeah, we support anybody that speaks this Bible, and that's exactly what he did. Right. Now the moment he don't speak the Bible, we ain't with that. But he spoke the Bible and they crucified him. Like you said, they tried to embarrass him on national TV. Is that it on that verse? All right. So you understand that? Okay. So now y'all got a flyer. Are y'all from here? Where y'all from? If you don't mind me asking. From Merlin? Okay. So we got school a bit. All y'all from Merlin? So y'all just came down. Y'all going to the event over here? Huh? Oh, the cruise ship. Okay. So y'all about to go get on a boat. All right, and right here in Charleston where we was brought on the boat. <laughs> All right, so listen, so y'all understand y'all Jews though, right? Y'all do understand that. So, I'm gonna read two laws. Just something y'all think about while you're on the boat. Cool? All praise, pull over, come talk to us, brother. You got your family with you. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and five, and then I want uh, Timothy 2 and nine. All right, this is just for y'all to think about while you're on your way. Read 22, 22 and five first. Deuteronomy! Chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So it says that I can't dress like a woman, neither can a woman dress like a man. So what is... Right. Right. And so you... So how old is your mother? Wow, okay. So she, she, she taught you that. A lot of mothers ain't teaching that no more. A lot of mothers. I just read that so y'all can see, so y'all will understand. Look, ain't no pants. But this is also go with it. Watch this. So no pants for our sisters. We had a sister right up. She knows she Jews. So y'all know y'all Israelites. We have to implement those things now. Or, or what you know is all in vain. What you know about being a Jew and know, know who you are, it's for nothing if you ain't going to do what we're supposed to do as princesses and princes of God. If we ain't going to do it, ain't no need of you knowing. Right. All right, read this. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. So that scripture is not saying you can't have braided hair. It means don't make your outward appearance who you are. But whenever we're, when it says to be modest, should our sisters wear tight clothes that are revealing? No, because the word modest means don't attract sexual attention. And so when women wear tight clothes or like my young sister back here, stomach out, booty shorts, you got the tight leggings. Those are leggings, meaning underwear. And then you have the tight dress on. The scriptures say y'all can't do that. As Israelite women, y'all are daughters of Sarah. Y'all are not regular women on the planet. That ain't how we see you. Men that understand the Bible don't see you as regular women. Y'all are, are daughters of God. That is literally 
who you are by blood, not right. not no not no made up nothing, not no oh well this is a figment of my imagination, not just some title that a man gave. God gave it to you. Right. But if you're not gonna live up to that title and you want to be like the rest of the world, you're gonna die like the rest of the world. Right. Y'all understand that? So I know y'all gotta go get on the cruise ship. Y'all enjoy your trip. Think about what was said. Say what now? You already read Deuteronomy. Good. So then you know, so that means no one can tell you that you're not a Jew then. Because you have people trying to debunk Deuteronomy. Right? Yeah, yeah for generations, meaning it's ever going. Absolutely. But now that you know that, Deuteronomy 10, 12. I, li I like what you're saying. I, hey, I really, I really, I love y'all spirit. Y'all seem very humble. Y'all are very receiving. And obviously y'all are paying attention to what's going on in the world to be able to have conversations about what's happening. Exactly. Yeah. The children will know the truth, but it also says our children will depart from it as well. So whenever, whenever we know the truth and we don't do it, we're departing from it, actually. All right? Uh, exactly. So then that, what, mean, what happens if that boat sink? What happens if that boat sink? What happened if Titanic happened all over again while you on the boat? That means if you ain't in order, you understand that judgment ain't the kingdom then. So y'all must change. That's what God says. Watch this. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. And now Israel. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? Y'all are the Israelites. Y'all the Jews. What does God require of you? Read on. But to fear the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Read how you do all that. To keep the commandment. That's y'all job. That's why you was born. That's why you was put on earth, to keep the commandments of God. If you're not going to do that, what you're saying is, God, I don't want to be your daughter. If I did that, I'm saying, God, I don't want to be your son. So we must come back to the law. So I gave y'all two. Y'all need to start applying those ASAP. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 